Hi, hi, children. How are you all? Good evening. I know you have been waiting for this Friday, and I hope you wait for Fridays all the time because, you know, you would have many reasons like, uh, uh, you you will have time with your dad and mom during weekends. And on Sundays you go to church, and on Friday, you know, uh, you will be waiting to listen to the story that uh, we share with you every Friday, right? Okay, let's go to our today's story, and the title is "Prayer: A Private Conversation." Prayer: A Private Conversation, and the Bible portion. For today's story is from Matthew chapter six verses one to six and sixteen to twenty one. If you are able to read, you can take your Bible and read it when you find time, or you can ask your parents to read it for you. Okay. In Old Testament Bible times, people were sometimes afraid of God. When the Israelites were traveling through the desert, they would say to Moses, "Will you talk to God for us?" They had special priests called Levites to go before God and offer their prayers. They had a special tent. Yes, they had a special tent where they knew God would come to meet with the Levites. After so many years, Jesus came so that we would have a different kind of relationship with our heavenly Father. Jesus was more than our Savior. Jesus is also our teacher. He teaches us about God's word and God's wish that we would all be faithful to Him. He also showed us how to pray and how to talk to God. Yes, people asked Jesus to teach him how to pray. Who would know better than Jesus Himself? No one. Yes, no one will know better than Jesus Himself. So, Jesus taught them the Lord's Prayer. I bet you know that one. If you do, say it along with me. You will find the words on the screen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. People who knew Jesus knew that he would go off by himself. And pray to God for long periods of time. Jesus did this because he knew our God is the kind of God who likes to talk with us. In today's gospel reading, that is from Matthew chapter six, verses one to six and sixteen to twenty-one, Jesus told people something that sounds like he is being stern with them. What is that? He said that anything you do for God, whether it is praying or doing good works, it should be done privately, secretly, not that people can see or tell that you do these things. Yes, this tells us something special about God. Yes, it is. It tells us something special about God, that Jesus sees and hears us all times, not just 
when we are at church or when we are doing something big or special. He is with us when we are alone. Jesus hears us when we want just to close our eyes and talk to him. Yes, he is with us and he hears us. You can experience what Jesus did wherever you want. Because God offers to listen to us like, uh, just like uh, he listened to Jesus. It is a wonderful message from Jesus, isn't it? Yes, it is. The memory verse for today is, it is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Never stop praying. Never stop praying. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. It's a wonderful message from Jesus today. As Jesus teaches us to pray, will you pray? Dear children, do you know one thing? Jesus loves little children like you to pray to him. Prayer is a private conversation. So when you pray to Jesus, you are talking to Jesus. Will you pray daily? Yes, I know you will. Okay, children, take care. Catch you all next Friday. Always keep shining for Jesus. God bless you all. Bye-bye.